welcome back to my channel. Um, I see. Sorry, I'm finishing up chewing on my stuff. I should have done that before I hit record. Um, so today I am going to do a Q&A video. Um, I've got a lot of questions on my surgery. Um, if you guys haven't watched my previous videos, I had a tummy tuck back in May. And um, so I've been getting tons of questions either on here or on my Instagram page. So I thought I would come on here and just make a video of the um, top 10 questions that I get asked all the time. So um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in now. Okay, so the first question is, I'm going to be looking down at my phone because I have all the questions here. Um, the first question is, um, how long did your surgery take? So, um, I guess let me just give a little bit of back history of my surgery. So, um, I traveled to Jacksonville Beach, Florida, um, and had my surgery done by Dr. Patrick Basil. And, um, so we went down there and we stayed for 10 days. Um, we traveled down two days before my surgery, right? Yeah. Two days before my surgery. And, um, then I went in on... I can't even remember what day it was. I think I went in on a Tuesday for my pre-op appointment and then my surgery was on that Wednesday. I think is how it was. But anyways, um, so uh, I got there at 7 a.m. And um, I, I don't remember how, um, what time they took me back, but I do know it was about three and a half hours long. That was a long answer. <laughs> um, and... Um, I stayed in recovery for a couple of hours. It did take me a little bit to wake up. Um, but once I started waking up pretty good, they let me leave um, and go home. Okay, so what all did you have done? Um, I had a tummy tuck, a muscle repair, and a flank lipo. So um, my sides here, they uh, did lipo to those. And I will insert some pictures from my surgery somewhere in here. Um, I'll show you the, um, the fat that came out from lipo. Okay, the next question is, um, what were some of the items that were the most helpful in recovery? So um, I bought quite a bit of stuff. Um, a toilet seat riser, a walker, um, a wedge pillow, and um, some, uh, what do you call those things? Hang on a minute. Do, 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 do. Um, lanyards. And um, all of those things were extremely helpful. Um, so toilet seat riser I used for the first week um, because it was just, I, I could not get all the way down. So I was so thankful for that. Um, now, um, the pillow, the wedge pillow, I wouldn't have been able to recover without that because where we stayed, there was not a recliner. Now, if you have the choice between a wedge pillow and a recliner, I would say, um, t definitely take the recliner because, um, you know, uh, my stomach muscle repair, um, it was just really hard to like go back without using my stomach muscles. So if you can just get down to the recliner, I think it would be so much easier. But um, yeah, um, and then the um, walker. They did not want me to stand up straight uh, for the first week. And then after the first week, they told me I could start, you know, slowly going up. But it still took me a little bit to be able to um, stand up straight. But the um, walker really helped as I was like bent over because it, it does hurt your back. It causes a lot of like stress back there. So the walker was definitely a must. Um, let's see. The lanyards um, helped with the drains because the drains were just kind of stuck down here. So it kind of held them up. Um, what were those? Boy shorts. Um, those were a lifesaver um, with my surgery. I love them and I would recommend them to anybody. Um, mine were Hanes and I bought them at Target and I don't know if they still have them. I've had people um, asking me about this a lot and um, they say they can't find them but that's where I found them so I don't know. Um, let's see, so gowns, button up gowns, definitely. Um, 
that really came in handy. And then um, I came home with a binder that um, came from the plastic surgeon, but I also ordered one and I will put a link, I guess down in the description of this binder, but um, I get asked so many questions about this binder and it um, took me a little bit to get used to this uh, binder, but at the in the end, I definitely recommend this binder. It was so much better. The one that I got from the plastic surgeon, whenever I would sleep at night, it would like roll up at the back. Um, and this one did not do that. So definitely recommend this one. Um, and that's all I can think of at the moment that really helped me get through. Well, maybe a uh, book, um, something to read because you do a lot of laying down. Um, so that would be the last thing that I recommend. Um, uh oh, where did I go? Ah, uh, let's see. And I already answered this one, recliner or bed. I definitely recommend a recliner. Um, it took me, I want to say about four to six weeks to actually be able to lay down in the bed, um, without assistance. It was very hard. So I definitely recommend a recliner for those first few weeks. Um, Okay, how long should I take off work? Um, I think this question is going to be different for everybody because everybody recovers so different. Um, for me, um, I would say after the two-week mark, I would have been okay to uh, go back to work. Um, we traveled home after one week, and um, it was still really hard. Um... I was still in a, a fair amount of pain. Um, so I would say definitely at least two weeks for me, from my point of view, I, you know, it's just everybody recovers so different and some people may need longer to recover from that. But, um, I would say definitely two weeks. Um, how long before you could stand up straight? I think I already went over this a little bit, but it was, um, after that first week, like I could start to stand up straight, but I couldn't stay that way. Um, it was still really, really, really tight. Um, so it took, mm, I'd say at least three weeks before I could really stand up straight and start like being normal, walking normal. Um, how much skin did they take off? Um, I can't really explain how much they took off, but Somewhere I will leave a picture, maybe up in the corner or over the screen. I don't know how I'll do it. I've done a video on this, a video on this, um, and it's in there, but I don't remember which video it is. So I'll just insert it here, so you can see the amount of skin they took off. It was quite a bit. Um, how bad did it hurt? And this is another one that I think will be different for, uh, or different person to person because um, everybody's pain tolerance is so different. I have a very high pain tolerance and um, I'm not gonna lie, day three was probably the worst, but it was it was very painful. The first day was not that bad. Um, I think I was still under anesthesia and I slept most of the day. But, um, the, and then the next day I still slept quite a bit, but then the, the next day it was all worn off and I was awake and, um, I cried. It hurt really bad. Um, getting in and out of bed was so painful. The drain site where the drains were coming out of the sides, it was so like sore. My binder was over the top of it and just rubbing and, um, it, it was really painful. Um, but... I did pain pills those first three days and then I stopped the pain pills and just started on ibuprofen. So, and then I would, that, you know, kept the pain at bay enough for me to be able to get through because I don't like the feeling from the pain medication. Um, so for me, it was definitely tolerable, but, um, yeah, it hurt. <laughs> Mostly, and I say that the, the most pain came from the stomach muscle repair, um, where I would have to like try to lay back down or get up. That's where most of the pain came from. The drain sites were, you know, an, a big annoyance, but 
the, the worst part of the pain was the stomach muscles. Um, let's see. How long before you felt normal? Mm. I would say I haven't really got back to normal yet. Um, here I am about seven months post-op now and, um, I still don't have feeling in my stomach um, in most places, like mostly down the middle of my stomach and along my incision. Uh, it's still numb. Um, so I don't feel like I'm completely back to normal yet. So, I mean, like normal as in like being able to walk normal, do normal things. It was probably about three months before I could really start doing normal things. Um, but my, I'm still having like pain um in my stomach muscles when i try to work out it hurts um uh, there's been a lot of road roadblocks as far as that goes here lately um and it's kind of frustrating but um so i don't feel like i'm like back to normal but hopefully i'll get there um okay and the last one is how long before you could start working out again so I was cleared to work out at the three month post-op mark, but um, I had a hysterectomy um, around that time. So I was not able um, to start working out until about, I think it was about six weeks after my hysterectomy. Um, and I did work out and um, like everything was going good, but like if I start to go to like the harder stuff, I swell really bad. Um, so I still haven't figured all that out, um, but I'm working on it. Um, but at the three month mark, I was cleared to start working out and I did start walking slash running a little bit. And um, the running part was, um, that was painful. The jostle of my stomach was painful at three months. So, um, but that's the last question that I have. Like I said, that was about the top 10. I get asked these questions all the time. So I just thought I would make a video. That way I have something to refer people to um, when all these questions are asked. Um, if you have any more questions, um, just link them down below or you can go over to my Instagram page. It's um, called it's our life underscore Tam and um, leave me some questions there and I can do another one if you have more questions. So um, thanks for watching my video and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.